Imagine a world where thousands of drones fly in unison, creating a formidable force in the sky. This is the ambition of the Pentagon's Replicator Initiative. The power of drones is not to be underestimated. In this age of rapid technological advancements, the Pentagon is harnessing the potential of these unmanned aerial vehicles, striving to command a fleet of thousands within a mere two years. This is the heart of the Replicator Initiative, a project as ambitious as it is innovative. The Replicator Initiative is more than just a grand plan to field an army of drones. It represents a strategic shift, a new way of thinking about defense. It aims to counter threats, yes, but it also redefines the very concept of threat response. It's about creating a dynamic, adaptable force that can respond to a rapidly changing global landscape. But as with any ambitious project, the Replicator Initiative is not without its doubts and concerns. Many are asking questions about the specifics of the plan, its feasibility, and the technology involved. The path to realization of this vision, while full of promise, is also fraught with challenges. The Replicator Initiative is more than just a project, it is a vision for the future of defense, but the path to realization is not without challenges. Like any ambitious project, Replicator has its share of supporters and skeptics. On one side of the coin, the Replicator Initiative is seen as a beacon of innovation, stirring up cautious optimism amongst industry executives, venture capitalists and even members of Congress. The prospect of fielding thousands of drones within two years to counter potential threats is indeed a tantalizing prospect. It hints at a future where technological prowess could redefine the paradigms of defense and security. However, every coin has two sides. Alongside this optimism, there is a cloud of doubt and concern that hangs over the initiative. The main concern is the lack of detail and specificity about the initiative. Questions about the process, funding and technology involved in Replicator have been raised, but clear answers remain elusive. This has led to a sense of frustration and skepticism. The initiative is also seen as a disruption to the bureaucratic process, a bold move by senior leaders to achieve ambitious goals. But can it overcome the inherent bureaucratic and cultural barriers that are part and parcel of such a large-scale initiative? The jury is still out on that one. In the end, it's a classic case of high hopes countered by serious doubts. The Replicator Initiative may be a beacon of hope for some, but for others, it is a source of skepticism and uncertainty. The path to innovation is often paved with bureaucratic and cultural barriers. And so it is with the Pentagon's Replicator Initiative. The program is seen as a beacon of change, a disruptor of the status quo within the bureaucratic process. It's a bold statement by senior leaders a daring endeavor to achieve ambitious goals in a field where ambition is often tempered by caution. But the road to success is fraught with challenges. The first one is transparency. The Pentagon has been somewhat ambiguous about the process, funding, and technology involved in Replicator. This lack of clarity breeds skepticism, fueling doubts among industry executives, venture capitalists, and members of Congress who are eager for more details. The second challenge is changing the culture within the Pentagon itself. This is no small feat. The Pentagon, like many large organizations, is a ship that doesn't turn quickly. It is steeped in tradition, hemmed in by procedure, and often resistant to change. For Replicator to succeed, it will need to navigate this labyrinth of bureaucracy to foster a culture that values innovation and risk-taking. Lastly, there's the challenge of expectations. With such an ambitious goal, the pressure is on for Replicator to deliver. The potential payoff is immense, but so is the risk of failure. It's a high-stakes game, one that requires careful planning, strategic foresight, and a willingness to adapt and evolve. Whether Replicator can overcome these obstacles and transform the landscape of defense remains to be seen. But one thing is clear, the journey will be as important as the destination. It's a journey that could redefine the Pentagon's approach to innovation and set a new standard for future defense initiatives. The Replicator initiative is not just about drones, but about the future of defense. This project is a bold leap forward, a testament to the Pentagon's ambitions to revolutionize warfare with autonomous technology. It represents a shift in defensive strategies where thousands of drones could potentially safeguard our skies. Yet it's not without its share of skeptics. Industry executives, venture capitalists, and Congress members express cautious optimism, but they're waiting for more details. The questions surrounding the process, funding, and technology involved have led to a certain level of frustration and skepticism. Moreover, the initiative faces significant bureaucratic and cultural barriers. It's an attempt by senior leaders to disrupt the conventional process and achieve ambitious goals. 
Will it overcome these hurdles? That's the million dollar question. As we look towards the future, the Replicator Initiative stands as a testament to the Pentagon's ambitions. Will it succeed, or will it become just another act of Pentagon Innovation Theater? Only time will tell. We encourage you to comment, like, and subscribe and join us on this journey into the future of defense.